Ray Give TV exclusive. Yo, Ping Ray in here, bro. He just popped in. There it go. Somebody must have told him. Okay, so check it out. WAP 100 and DW Flame go in on Big Sad. Let's get to the content. The ladies is with WAP 100, the hunter side, and even the trenches. Well, you need to spend the block with the homie Ray Give TV, the hardest working clubhouse YouTuber in the game. Hey, yo, Ray, let's get to the content. It's Ray Give TV. In the block. You didn't hear that room in the trenches? I just said DW an invite. You're bringing my uh, wild and out tour. Nigga, you well, never hey. thought you was going to be in some of the situations you was in. You never thought you was going to be sitting on those. You never thought so at the end of the day those things were coming to you. I, but you know, it's one thing you told me today. You said, I I, I, I see things before it, before it happens, right? I, I did know. I knew somehow. I didn't know exactly where I would be placed, but I knew I would have my hands in everything. That's you know my saying? point. But you there now, so at the end of the day, bro, they going to send things at you. They going to send shit at you to see if you deserve it or this. Right. Like, bro, now, you know I'm a goddamn fool. I could have been, did all kind of shit. But I know they going to, I look at the, I look at the atmosphere right there, could tell. And a nigga will fuck what little they got off just to see you fuck all yours off. This is real shit. Right. So, I mean, no. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no way I'm beefing with that nigga or any nigga. <laughs> but, but, and, and the niggas can't take the truth. The truth is, the fact is you told. And that's facts. And I'm going to be real. You fought me on it. I remember I you fought, fought you me four it. times. You say, uh, you seen it right. You say, What's that sad shit? He told. You called me back 30 minutes later. Hey, yo, uh, I fuck, man. I just, I just listened to his music. Yo, nephew, the nigga told. I don't even know the nigga he told. Call me back. I say, nephew, I'm going to let him talk for a couple weeks. Then I'm going to drop him. But you know, I'm going to tell you, I got the shit. I got the shit. Yeah. I told him that. And when he woke up that morning, he just still shot at that interrogation room. <laughs> it looked bad off jump, and and but the, I said I I'm like I'm, I'm like okay, you know from over there I'm gonna keep the nigga over there. I don't really don't give. Up, okay? That's what he said. Yeah, he said that. He the really volunteered. <laughs> he volunteered to come up there and tell everybody he was a snitch, basically. Yeah. Bought twelve way. pieces of paper, cuz. Come on, fam. And what he did. When he did that interview, everybody telling D Dub, D Dub, the nigga brought y'all one part of the paperwork. He go the other side, so everybody said D Dub the paperwork. He gonna read it. The nigga, a convict nigga, he read it. He came back the next day and said, "Homie, I went back and did my research, and I gotta keep it real." The nigga told he described the car, this, this, that, this, this, that, but he told him. Off of what I'm reading, I don't see nothing. But I'm going to dig it. I'm going to see. I'm saying, yeah, I'm going to see. And I asked him, I'm like, nigga, are you sure this is all the paperwork? Because I didn't. I told him I didn't had homies who brought certain paperwork and, pa and the papers we looking for are missing. So, but I'm just, the nigga, the nigga blows me because who, to who the f told you to come up here? And then a lot of people like, oh, DW, you were sitting next to the nigga. Listen, I didn't. I've never read his paperwork before this. I, I don't care about cuz. Never, even on that interview, never, even if I said he was snitching, I still wouldn't have fired on him that, cuz that's not my job. His, if your own homies ain't doing nothing to you, I, I, snitches I get away from eventually, uh, like off top, but I needed to know. I'm like, okay, you came, brought your paperwork, and like, it's facts. I don't like to tarnish niggas' names. I don't play with people's names. You did that to yourself, and now, but the reason a nigga mad and dissing me is because my word holds some. If I would have said Big Sad ain't no snitch, a lot of niggas would have rock with that. If I'd have been like, nah, uh, cuz I seen it, cuz it look a little tricky, uh, he ain't no snitch, he would have loved me. Nigga, I'll be his best buddy right now. He'd have gave you five songs. Yeah, that nigga would have gave me anything. 
<laughs> and he would have been poured in, up all yeah. his lean. <laughs> hey, but I'm like, nigga, and I told him, I'm going to read the paper, come back with it. It was the verdict. Uh, that's the verdict, but cut. still to this day, I don't give a if you admit nah, that that's you. Fuck, that's you. But nigga, you come to no jumper, it's on the podcast. There it go. This is why I created the exposers. Hey, look, bro. Nigga, your own niggas own homies be sending it to me. So nigga, I look at it, it's there. I got just do nigga to the people. Cause I don't know if you're doing business with a nigga in New Mexico, Nebraska, Florida. So we're gonna put it out there. Now them niggas, yo, whack, good looking out. I got calls. My nigga from Comedy Crip that's living up his sack. He said, yo, whack, I was just finna do some business. You don't even know what you did, nigga. Nigga sent me all the text messages. He said, nigga, I called and asked that nigga about that name y'all mentioned. Nigga froze up. So now I'm about to just save the real nigga. Right. Real okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. I ain't telling nobody stop streaming your music. Don't listen to the music. Listen to a streamer. I don't give a fuck. Do what you do. Listen to those people that need to know that may have been in harm's way or the line of fire. Right. That's who this for. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and niggas is niggas on, on on Instagram live at home with a thirty thinking that's gangster. Uh, listen, I, all he need to be ready for is you playing with playing with pistols and you doing all that online. Be ready to go to jail and PC up, champ. Yeah, that's real. Sipping lean, about, he had his lean cup and everything right there, man. I'm like, nah, this motherfucker down. But I, I like, I don't, I, I know that's like, you doing all this fake gangster shit, dog. You now you got to go back to that place, though. Well, it, eventually you are gonna go back to this to that place you playing with you playing with fire. You feel that's me? That's real. That's real. So now what, nigga? You you gonna you gonna you gonna get PC or, or or die up in here? You doing it to yourself when you really, nigga? Go be a civilian and rap, fool. Nigga, stay up in your house and be a civilian and rap. And now he got now the nigga doing sn- the snitch shit like anything he can do. He can keep saying the nigga name, whatever. But yeah, come on, man. yeah, man. Let's the dude that went over there and dissed every set in that area from, from that interview I did the next day with the OG. They trying to keep the peace over there, so I ain't none of them niggas with that shit over there in that area. You know, so, you know he gonna deal with he deal with that nigga beneath you, bro. He ain't no as a as a human though. Yeah, yeah, he ain't he can't stand <laughs> with you, can't. Box you, he can't. He couldn't do nothing. If we and me and him got stuck somewhere, he wouldn't be able to survive none of the shit I survived. Unless you could maybe wrap your way out. And eventually, a nigga gonna get tired of that because they gonna want to be the rapper. Yeah, but Cud don't get tired of talking. He started talking as soon as I seen Cud. <laughs> mouth, mouth was going immediately. <laughs> right when I see Cud. And I'm just looking at Cud's face. I'm like, oh, shit. The tendencies, the the tendencies. I've seen this before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's bitch. <laughs> like, come on, look, you didn't even have to come on here, black man. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. <laughs> he could have kept hiding it for years. Well, for the most part. Yeah. Well, you know what? Well, you ain't gonna let her hide. <laughs> But I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have put the extra stamp on it. I, I wouldn't have been obligated to. Nah, uh, you'd have just watched it. Cause you already told me fuck with his music. You'd have just watched it. But the nigga came up there on camera. Yeah. D Dog gonna have to stand on his cripping. Yeah. The homie, my brother and them, like, come on, cuz when you, you, we don't, you don't know cuz like that to even try to have fake favoritism, and that's not gangster. Even if it's your brothers or whoever the fuck. If he snitch, he snitch, cuz all you gotta do is <laughs> That's it. I'm like, yeah, cuz he like and my brother like cuz is is you not is you not standing on shit. Hey, listen, I think a D dub called my phone after the interview. I trolled the shit out of that nigga. I acted more like a crypt here. <laughs> I'm coming up there the mall, <laughs> and I'm gonna do it with a crib supposed to, how they supposed to get it. I said this nigga got me fucked up. <laughs> Stop playing. I drove the shit out this thing. I must have. I, I, I low key marched up there. <laughs> Hold on, cuz cause, cause I already was gonna say it anyway when you was playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, that nigga D Dub looked at the paperwork and said, So you telling me it's all the paperwork? Right. Stop playing. Oh, shit. But, but like that's crazy. Like I like I said, I, I hate to see niggas go down the drain, but I mean, he he I like snitching <laughs> feeling good. <laughs> We got premium content. DW Flame pulls up on WAP 100. Speaks on Big Sad. It's your boy Ray Gift. Up coming down below. Let's get back to it. <laughs> they not giving a fuck. That shit ain't stopping done no more. I <laughs> that, that nigga ain't done no more. Snitching, man. Man. I love snitching. That's what Cuz on. What? Cuz on. So I'm mean, a Cuz on is he on is like trying to find any. Oh, whack. As soon as he said that, I said, "What's up?" I said, Cuz, I said, you mad, you mad at the truth, bro? Uh, uh, are you mad at the truth? I said, what's up, Cuz? You want to link up or something? You got an issue? Yeah, yeah. Cuz, like, okay, he went around that. He like, oh, you popping it on no jumper, like you a nigga. Whoa, whoa. I said, like I said, we can link up, fool. Well, oh, two, three. What are you talking about? I ain't acting like nothing at all, nigga. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm not acting. That's you. That's you, but you beating around in it. You beating around the, the the straight issue. Niggas don't know how I get with you. Niggas think <laughs> I got shit going on. Like I won't get right with you though. That nigga been fast as fuck. That nigga been hiding in Seattle and Vegas. He that, nigga, like that. <laughs> that nigga. He that nigga in his apartment. Support that 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 ain't Trey Gangster card. They gonna keep it gangster. They they ain't they backed up. That was a lot of strength right there. Yeah, I'm, they ain't, they gon' they gon' you know go over there in the jungle. You got a cold twist. He had the jungles and the eight train. So he had a he had a nice yeah. little thing around it with them niggas ain't finna support that shit. Not them two neighborhoods. They ain't gonna do it. Right, right. Them and them little niggas act like they stand on business too much to even support. Nah, them. they not doing that. They not doing that. So nigga, what what can we expect from you? Uh. What you got up next, man? We see you on No Jumper. You got your traction going. I think you really that guy in the building over there because you there on, on the daily thing. So what we you got Can we expect to see your own show this week? You uh, also what? At Rolling Loud this week. Got you. Uh, CEO, my album out right now on platforms. Uh, I got a I got a movie coming up in April with my nigga Chris Gotti, Earth Gotti Brothers. Got you. Uh, Shit, I'm on Wildin' Out. I got a TV show, Future Superstar, uh, on VH1. Two shows on VH1 and BC right now. Uh, yeah, and I'm saying, and, and I'm second ducking. Gotcha. We could expect to see a, uh, a spinoff of DW uh, Flame, your own show on No Jumper. Yeah, on Thursday. On Thursday, I'm gonna be introducing my own show. It's gonna be exciting. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. We barely gonna be sitting down. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I appreciate it. I'm going to walk up in no jumper right now. I'll be sure. Do your thing, nephew. I'm here if you need me. All right, man. Good looking out, D-Dub. Good looking out for stopping by, player. Mando, Mando. You already know. Uh, where, where, where P go? He left? P back up in here. P back? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't want one. So, because he had a few questions. So, P, every room that we got into it with, um, pretty much came up. Getting from. back up in. We I don't think he's up in here. Oh you're not in there? No 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 let's ping him back up in there. Oh, Somebody get P up in here. So let me get this right. I guess the narrative is where we what? With rooms. Like what what what, what, what are we supposed to do? Let people win? Is that what it is? They not they only gonna be satisfied with our situation if we let a motherfucker win. They mad cause we don't lose. I think they want to see us lose, Wack. That's what they want to do. Don't want to see us lose. Well, it's not going it's to happen. The, it's the Floyd Mayweather effect. It ain't going to happen. I mean, see, like I told him, bro, they won't even let him build. Right? Them niggas ain't got the mind. Every nigga in there thinking about their motherfucking self. That's the crazy part. Nigga, you can't go in no motherfucking room with niggas 100 deep on stage. <clears throat> 50 of them is modded. Ain't no discipline. You know what I'm saying? There's just no discipline with it. You know, and and I think these dudes, you notice they always say, well, whack. You, 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 you. Hey, bro, this the hunter side. You 
dealing with all of us. They on that that shit, and that's why they can't build. Every nigga coming in there like, all right, how, how can I get him out the way? How can I get? Well, you know why everybody wanting reeks reek to be next to you, nigga. My whole team is next to me. Fuck is you talking about? Niggas like, do these niggas not know that you motherfuckers voted against me to get rid of Reek? Nigga, I'll never forget, Bodine the only one voted with me. Nigga, it was like 22 to 2. That's a fact. That was the <laughs> first time. Then with the second vote, everybody went against him. Everybody said, fuck it. The first vote was just Bodine. I'll tell you where he fucked himself at, right? When he said, the nigga did that fucking house over there undermining Goo Gang, and then the nigga said, yo, whack, we don't need no more rooms, just me and you. That's Peace it. back, whack. Peace back. Yeah. Yo, P. Yo, what up? You do know that my whole floor did not want to get rid of Reed. You do know that we run nah, a- we, we, I'm a, the, uh, our side, the hip hop side of uh, Clubhouse, we didn't want to get rid of Reek either, because one thing about Reek, we, he might have got on your nerves, but he always had content. He'll pull a trick out his hat. That yeah, nigga but, but, listen, but P, listen to me, P. Reek, when I first wanted to get rid of Reek personally, they voted against me 22 to 2. I lost the vote. Everything by vote over here, right? So Reek got rid of himself, but, you know, Reek didn't want to grow. He wanted the hunter side just to be the hunting room. He didn't want, he didn't see the vision. He like, nah, whack, just me and you, and we just going to run this flow all day. I'm like, nah, Reek, that ain't But whack, I got to say this, Reek, I follow him on IG. He looking better without fucking with Clubhouse. He feeling better. He's all across America and overseas. I think he was better off for him. Uh, you know, bro. Clubhouse don't stop you from moving around. Yeah, but I think him cutting the honey side off, the nigga went to the next level. And he didn't cut the honey side cut off. off. Nigga, we cut. Are you we, sure? No, I'm positive. Reek's still a leader in the road. He come oh, back okay. when he walked oh, oh, I didn't know. I thought he was just completely off. Nah, Reek come nah, back. Nah, he a leader still. He didn't ran four, five rows when he want to run a row. That nigga, <laughs> running, that nigga been running around in my city like that's his city. Nah, I'm but like, here go the thing, no, P. We all come out there when we want to, but this is what I don't respect. Nah, the way Reek is Hold moving. Reek, nobody's moving like Reek. Hold Reek on, is in the, in the after-hour spots and all that. Yo, listen, we all do the same shit, right? Been Wack, doing you're it. not doing that. You're not going hey, to the after-hour spots. AP, hey, AP, hey, Reek, this is Reek first time to New York. I've been going yeah, to New York 20 plus years. Yeah, but he's living and he's famous by I've doing been, it. I, the whole I've New York going, don't Niggas, Reek niggas don't know Reek. Like, niggas do not know that nigga, man, son. Y'all hate you P, don't do that, P. I told you these niggas don't know no job, my nigga. Like, like, I told you they wanted to job. This nigga smoking crap. Niggas don't know Reek like that, bro. They you think they the whole New York, the whole Cali. Man, a player. They do not know Reek. Like what, what do they know him for, P? Bro, what they know him for, P? Hey, bro, they listen. They know Reek with the content on YouTube, on Clubhouse. No, they don't. That's what they know him for. P, bro. don't do that to the city, they bro. Don't, they don't know they that don't, nigga, bro. Hey, Hey, nah, Gene, I know a few niggas. They a few. Yeah, a few, but he not he nigga. not moving around like he not. Hey, P, he, they but not here go the thing. down the he spot, letting them through the back door. Please, man, this one time you gotta understand. When I go to New York, it ain't nowhere I can't go. These niggas on Clubhouse, not half the New Yorkers on Clubhouse don't even live in New York. They just talking. It's eight million people in New York. That's a fact, right? Gene, you watch me. Walk up in gyms with all kind of because by myself. That's a fact. And kick back two, three hours. People want to take pictures. Nigga, wherever the f I go, I don't give a f I go. Right? These niggas be talking. It's, it's niggas from everywhere in any city state nah, that would like you. I'm going to say Reek was moving with a lot of Harlem niggas, Brooklyn niggas. I seen him and some Bronx. He was everywhere. I ain't going to lie. He was moving but around. But here go the thing, P. When niggas be in New York, I don't hear Ice And he Style don't saying, got no security. Look, I don't hear Ice Style saying, Oh, Ice Yo, Style whack. be outside. You Hold on, bro. Ice I was out outside. there for 16 days straight. Niggas knew it. Never once did he come do none of that. What happened was you never responded back to his Instagram because he showed the receipts. Wait, wait. First of all, P, let me ask you a question. Let me see what Do you think I know who that dude? Well, he, he also said he called your phone and all of that. Nah, he ain't called my phone because 
the nigga uh, Hocus Pro Fifth homies was calling me all day. All of them. Hocus would tell you that. They was calling me so much, he had to stop because I started recording them and embarrassing them and making them content. I answer my phone all day. I get at least a hundred prank calls a day, well, I ain't every day. Front. I, I believe I star. I know he called you. I know that for a fact. But why he didn't come on social media like he do right here? Um, why he know. didn't? Why he didn't do that? I, I guess he trying to, you know, make sure shit be on the low. He nah, bro. Went. Nah, listen. I was out there sixteen days. Not a peep out of dude. Now, Pete, let me ask That's you That's when you're supposed Pete. to crack the room. Let me ask you something, Pete. What as up? As long as I've been going to New York, you think me being in New York, you don't think that's a little dangerous for him playing with me, bro? Yeah, but on, on, listen. You ain't on. stupid, Pete. It, it might be dangerous for him, <laughs> but it's dangerous for you, too. No, it ain't. No, no, Yo, no. He's Pete. moving around in the city. Hey, PP, I'm overly good, bro. Listen. You gotta remember, my, my ties in New York ain't no music, bro. It just got to that. He's not a musician. Yeah, but I think y'all think I'm like a, just a no, music. No, no, no. Niggas uh, know you tied in. Niggas are uh, uh, some shit that. or something. I, I don't was know. fucking with K Slay. We know you tied no, in. No, but all that. That's music. Yeah, but he tied in. Yeah, no. All that, cause Slay only goes so far with other shit. We ain't even let him go out in the water like that. We ain't gonna do it either, right? But what I'm saying is, y'all think my ties in New York is started with K Slay? But I, I ain't gonna put your. You your, cannot believe no listen, dumb ass shit like I'm that. I'm not gonna put your ties for somebody okay. that's a visitor to New York. There's somebody that's born and raised in New York. I would never do that. Okay. Hey, listen, let me explain something to you. You know, a lot of my niggas out there did a lot of time. Some of them ain't, you know, some He did a lot of time, too. Hold on, but you missing what I'm trying to niggas. tell you. A he lot of my niggas, know them niggas. Listen, listen, I'm going to tell you this, bro. One thing you know about New York, niggas is with who they with. Right? No, that's a fact. And that nigga don't look like me, bro. Now, I don't respect this niggas on Crime Stoppers, bro. We got the content, and you know it. We got the content. You know he on Crime Stoppers, P. Now, if I'd have been whack, niggas would have had my head, bro. Let's just be real, bro. I like I don't like the selective politics. Call a spade a spade when a nigga do something. That's no, but we, we we got on. We we, we we definitely made a room about him. About no, but what I'm saying, though, P. P. We got that. P. Hear me on this, bro. Just like Ain't, look, bro. Once you, on you once you did, once you did went over there to Pinkyville or the Kitty Pool. Stop talking that gangster shit who done been in the swampy waters all his life. I don't know how to do no crime stoppers. I don't so even that, know what I, the I, fuck that on, is. Let's clear, let's clear the air because I know you got your audio team in here. It wasn't crime stoppers. What let's was put it? put that out there. It wasn't what was crime it? stoppers. Yo, audio play. You want to play this shit? Yeah, you could play it, but it wasn't on crime stoppers. So you telling me, P? He didn't He didn't. Cl- Pete, he didn't see how the street crime. nigga, P? Oh, you telling me that's what that is, bro? What he did, he was speaking about his community. Oh, you a goofy. P, I'm going to ask you a real question. This is why my New Yorkers on my side of the app is way more solid. They call it spade a spade, no matter who it is, bro. You telling me that shit right there. Okay, if that would have been whack 100, what niggas would have oh, been nigga. But they, we did the same thing with him. They, we did the same thing with you. Made rooms and moved on and find, and find something else. No, that's but it. see, that's the thing. We don't move on. We get rid of niggas. What you you out of here. What you mean get rid of them? What you we mean out of here. We don't fuck with you. Oh, okay. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Appreciate the support. Everybody tuning in. DW Flame pulls up on WAC 100. Speaks on Big Sad Man. Some premium content. Great content. I appreciate the support. I can't stress that enough. So please keep that notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on no premium content. Like the video, share the video, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. You dig? To the people out there grinding, man, keep your best foot forward. Make the most of your 24 hours. You gotta apply yourself, though. You have to stay down until you come up. Ain't no half stepping, ain't no lacking, ain't no slacking. Nope. You don't have to get to it if you want that money, right? And I'm not talking about no shoebox money. I'm talking about that money that come with a pay stub. You hear me? 
where you can really flip it into something legitimate. You know, I'm talking about like longevity type of money. You feel me? Because that shoebox money ain't going to get you nowhere but some gas, food, and some clothes. And nothing legitimate could come from that. So, therefore, it's a waste of time. Stay out the streets. Say no to drugs. You feel me? It's your boy Ray Give. That's my message to the people. Appreciate the support yet again. Until next time, it's your boy Ray Give, and I'm gone. God bless. Peace. Thanks for watching another reaction video.